this is the first question so which is nothing but a charge uh, charge distribution on the capacitors so read the question once you try it and i'll explain so by looking at the question with one thing we need to understand sure okay whether you are solving the question or not the one point should be understood that is this capacitor is short circuited so this capacitor doesn't receive any charge why because see both are i mean across the capacitor conductor is connected what would be the potential here same potential you find over here also so that's why this charge won't receive any charge uh, so this capacitor won't receive any charge so that is the first point see these are the some points you need to understand in the question whether you are completing the question or not doesn't matter first of all you need to get these ideas your thinking is not clear to the question okay so if you remove this capacitor then these two will be in series these two will be in series you can write down c by 2 and this capacitor is c so all are c only because identical capacitors has given already so let us say initially the charge on the capacitor a plus q not and minus q not and all are uncharged okay na so then if i close the switch then what is the circuit then circuit will become something like this first capacitor second capacitor okay na and there is one more capacitor here across it is connected in this way and these two capacitors are uh, uh, like a what are series and uh, you can remove this capacitor so you will get only one capacitor of c by 2 so now this is c c and this is c by 2 now this is c now switch is closed if switch is closed see the charge on this plate will go to this plate negative charge can go to these two plates here you will get negative negative charge and these two will get positive charge something like that and these two are okay c and this this is the isolated plates net charge has to be zero always this particular combination of plates net charge has to be zero okay na and the positive charge on this plate can be shared with this plate negative charge on this plate can be shared with these two plates and total charge on these two plates uh, these two plates ha has to be i mean these three plates total charge on these three plates has to be zero always so this is the second idea to solve the question okay so now initial charge is q not now let us say that the charge on the charge on this plate i'm taking as plus q then this will be q not minus q okay now then this will be minus q and this is minus of q not minus q okay so then i can write down this is uh, what do you say that minus q1 minus q2 huh? plus q1 plus q2 okay now yeah so now you can go for charge uh, values you can find out now q value already given what are the q value is given after uh, closing the switch the charge will distribute and final charge on this capacitor will be 5 micro coulomb that means q value is given which is 5 micro coulomb if i know this charge can you find out the charge on the remaining remaining uh, capacitors you can find out the potential difference let us say this is the a point this is the b point va minus vb we can find out so this is also potential at a only okay na now you can take this two are in parallel again series hmm so potential difference you can find out or else you can apply the equations you can write down the equations here this two are parallel no this two are parallel then q1 q2 relation i can find out how again what is the q1 minus q1 minus q2 minus q should be equal to q0 hmm okay you can get the relation like like what potential difference is q1 by c is equal to q2 by c by 2 then q1 is equal to 2q2 this is the one relation the other relation is total charge will be zero on this that also you can use or as this conservation also you can do minus q minus q1 minus q2 is equal to minus q0 hmm so that also you can do so ultimately we need to find out the q0 value q1 q2 relation i got and uh, can we relate with the q1 and q0 q1 and q0 and q2 and q0 yeah so now i'm applying the yeah kirchhoff's law in this circuit then plus q minus q so minus q by c which is whose value we know huh and negative to positive so plus q1 by c and this is negative to positive plus q0 minus q by c is equal to zero because no battery okay na so just a charge conservation and kirchhoff's second law huh? loop principle 
potential difference principle then this is minus q plus q1 plus q0 minus q is equal to 0 hmm? then q0 minus 2q plus q1 is equal to 0 so q0 plus q1 is equal to 2q is nothing but 10 micro coulomb q value is 5 micro coulomb no so, so q0 plus q1 value i'm getting 10 micro coulomb okay so that is the one relation so ultimately what we have to find out we, ne we need to find out the q0 value hmm? so q1 is equal to q2 q1 q2 relation so one more relation we'll take hmm. then q0 is equal to what i can write down if i'm considering the charge on this plate q0 is equal to q plus q1 plus q2 hmm? so q0 is equal to q in the place of q1 you can write down 2q2 so it is 3q2 or you can write down in, th in terms of q1 also your choice no problem okay we write down q1 and we eliminate the q1 okay hmm. so then this i can write down as q plus q2 is nothing but q1 by 2 so 3q1 by 2 q2 is nothing but q1 by 2 hmm? q1 by 2 if i'm writing then 3q1 by 2 i'll get it so from these two which which you can re, you can remove you can remove the q1 value so what the q1 is equal to here q1 is equal to q0 minus 10 micro coulomb is equal to sorry reverse 10 minus q1 huh? q1 is equal to 10 minus q0 is equal to what is the q1 value here q1 value is equal to q0 minus q into 2 times by 3 okay na? q0 minus q into 2 times by 3 is the q1 now i can find out the q0 value hmm? minus q0 plus 10 see you can solve in any way okay so 2 times of q0 minus 5 q value is 5 no they have given already q value is 5 hmm? now cross multiply then you will get minus 3 q0 plus 30 is equal to cross multiply is equal to 2 q0 minus 10 hmm? so 10 in the on this side 40 3 q0 5 q0 then what the q0 is equal to 8 micro coulomb that's the answer okay na? so i used conservation of charge everywhere i mean one one idea is conservation of charge the other idea is i applied the loop principle that's it uh, maybe little numbers are more or equations are more but that is the idea behind behind the question hmm?